YouTube. We've got our best one yet for you guys. That's right, Michelle is back by popular demand for another one, so that means make sure to watch to the end because there'll be plenty of bloopers. <laughs> Today, guys, we are gonna be talking about accessories. That's right, you guys seem to love the accessory videos. So, Michelle and I, we sat down, we talked about what our favorite accessories are that we've done to the car, because we've done a whole lot. And we've talked about not only the most practical ones that we just couldn't live without, but the ones that are also the best quality. And today, we've got our top 10 must-have accessories for any Tesla owner out there. If you're waiting to take delivery of your Tesla, go ahead, start ordering this stuff now because you want to have it on hand for when you get there. We've got discount codes for all of this stuff to help you guys save some money. Links to all of these products will also be in the description down below for you as well, so you can easily find it all. Plus, we have some great giveaways. We have some accessories that we'll be giving out to some lucky winners, so stay tuned, keep watching, and we'll explain details later. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's go. Let's go. First up on our list of must-haves is something that if you don't already have, you need to order right now. This is something you want to have on hand for when you go take delivery of your Tesla because that is the best time and the easiest time to install it. And that is a screen protector. That's right, this big beautiful screen here, it's nothing more than a big giant fancy iPad, which means guess what? It is subject to scratches, cracks, and all that other stuff that you have with a phone or an iPad. This thing is extremely expensive to replace. That screen protector that only costs $37.99 from Abstract Ocean. Yeah, that is a much better investment than having to spend thousands on this replacement. Now, I am extremely particular when it comes to my screen protectors. You can ask my wife. He's very picky with his screen protectors. So I have tested and made sure and know that the one from Abstract Ocean not only is the easiest to install, but it's the most quality as well. It's tempered glass, so it feels good. It doesn't give you that cheap plastic feel. The one that we have on here is actually a matte finish. The reason we put the matte finish on is because it helps against glare, but the main reason why I love Abstract Oceans is because theirs is the easiest to install. They literally give you a frame that you snap onto the screen itself, and then the screen protector just slides right on. You slide your finger, and then it attaches to the screen protector really nice and easy. The next one on our list falls into that category of must-have if you have kids. Even if you don't have kids, quite honestly, all weather floor mats. They are so important, guys. The floor mats that come with the Tesla are just those standard cheap carpet ones. They look like crap really quickly. It doesn't take much like rain, wet feet, rocks, and all that to really dirty them up, and then they never look the same again. These all weather floor mats right here, these ones are made by 3D Spider. We have used these since day one of having our Tesla. They are absolutely amazing, guys. They hold up fantastic. And when you do need to clean them, they're super easy to clean. You just vacuum, you wipe them down, and boom, they look brand new again. These things have held up to not only our shoes going in and out in dirt, but to cleats over and over from all three of our kids coming in and out through baseball season, soccer season, and they have held up and look amazing. The one thing that I get questions about all the time from you guys about these floor mats, if you have a seven-seater, there has yet to be a manufacturer that has come out with an all-weather floor mat for the third row and the trunk of a seven-seater. Nobody makes one yet. As soon as they do, we will bring it to you guys and let you know. And if you are a manufacturer out there and you're watching this, if you're working on one, you're trying to design one, reach out to us. We would love to help with that project. If you're looking, if you have a seven seater, just be aware the set that you're gonna get is for the five seater. It fits in the front and it fits the second row as well, right back here. Oh, there's our children's mess too. If you have a seven seater, just be aware, it's okay to buy the five seater option. Just buy the ones for the fronts and the second row. Your trunk one's not gonna fit. The one for the front will fit and the one for the sub trunk also will fit. Next up are rim savers. This has already come in handy. So your rim saver is what goes around. We chose blue so that it would kind of accent the blue of the car. It is clutch when you are parallel parking, or in my case, when you're dropping your child off at drone camp. As I was dropping my child off, I wanted to make sure I left enough room for cars to pass me on the left, clip that curb a little bit, but as you can see, the blue rim did come off, but it actually protected the entire wheel. 
No curb rash here. These rim savers are a must have. It doesn't matter what kind of wheels you've got, whether you have the standard or the upgraded, which if you have the upgraded, it's even more important. They're a must have for any of them. You can even mix and match your colors. So on the rims, you can mix them. We did black and we did blue. So our track is black, the outside is blue. They come in all different colors, red, black, white. This is actually one of my top ones. These rim savers are offered through Abstract Ocean. You can get the link below. They're $119.99 and definitely key for those curbs that jump out at you. The next must have is the seat back kick protector. It goes right on the back of whichever seat your toddler or young child sits. It even has these two extra little pockets that they can store things instead of asking you in the front seat to hand them back while you're driving. Our son likes to play cards. It also has the charger, which can connect right down there. Anything that your child might want, a snack on the road. Sometimes he'll have a snack back there. The second part though is all those little feet that might kick here. So when you have a toddler, as soon as you turn them around and they're no longer in the rear facing seat, their little feet just kick, they have nowhere else to go. So when you have a toddler in a booster seat, in a forward facing seat, whatever it is, if their feet don't touch the ground, this just saves and protects the back of your seat. It is so easy to wipe clean. I've wiped it so many times when we've gotten it muddy. It's just wipe it all down and everything is gone. The best part is it's very affordable. $19.99 from Drive, check out the link below. Must have if you have any child whose feet don't touch the ground. next is something that we see talked about all the time in the owners forums out there and that is mud flaps mud flaps are super important guys the issue that teslas have in general is that this back rear fender here this back quarter panel this sticks out further than the front of the car does. So when you're driving, everything that that front wheel picks up and throws back, it's hitting this back rear quarter panel, which means that's where all of your stone marks, your chips, your cracks, all of that stuff is all happening back here. Mud flaps is one of two ways to combat this issue. Mud flaps are super easy to put on. They actually look really great. I think they give the Tesla a nice sporty look and they're just functional. I don't even know why they don't come with them standard. Now, Tesla does sell their own mud flaps. However, I'm gonna be honest, I've tried them. They're kind of cheap and I don't really like them. For some reason, Tesla, I feel like chintzed out on their mud flaps. It's literally just like one small piece of straight plastic that you just kind of slap up there and it doesn't really look all that good. Now, it is an easy install, but uh, we like to look for appearance as well we've tried multiple different types of mud flaps the things that we were looking for was number one we wanted something that was easy to install didn't involve drilling holes into your tesla we wanted to use the existing factory holes that are already there the second thing we were looking for was style it needed to look good it needed to give it a sporty look and the third thing was actual functionality and we finally found the perfect one that we love it looks awesome it was an easy install it just uses the screws that are already in there you pop them out it gives you a new set of screws to work with and then you're good to go these mud flaps right here. They are available from the EV store. Now, they are a little bit on the pricier side. They run $94.98, but trust me guys, it is worth every penny of it. Plus, if you use our discount code, you'll save a little bit off of that as well. These are super easy, no drill, no putting extra holes. They pop right in, they look great, and they do a great job of protecting your car. segues right into the second thing that you can do to protect that back quarter panel of your car from those rock chips, and that is PPF. Getting PPF is the ultimate way to protect your Tesla, because it's not only just going to protect that rear quarter panel, but it's also gonna protect the front if you get a full PPF installation from a professional installer. That is what we recommend. Or they do make small little panels of PPF that you can buy and install yourself. We actually did both. We hooked up with Menards Premium Detailing out in Warminster, Pennsylvania. If you haven't seen that video, Check it out, it's right here in the card. We hooked up with them. They did a full front PPF install for us. If you can't afford a full PPF install from an installer, there still is a way to get some protection, especially if you're looking to protect this back end here. They make small little panels that you can get a PPF. They go right on. They've already been made, cut, and designed to fit right there. The ones that we have here are made by Abstract Ocean. They are perfect. They're easy to install. They're also very cheap. They're available for 
$29.99 on Abstract Ocean's website. And if you use our discount code, you'll save even more on that. This right here, this is the hot zone. This is where all those rocks and all that debris from that front wheel is gonna hit when it gets kicked up. And as long as you have a PPF panel here, you're at least protecting this part of your car. item is a cup holder. So we tried a couple different cup inserts from the one that goes in between just right here to another one that was a little bit wider. Any which way you put it, this was by far our favorite one. It was our favorite for a couple reasons. The first is it keeps your cup from bouncing all around. It can fit all different types from water bottles to coffee cups to Starbucks cups, anything you want and it keeps it from bouncing around. So the second thing is it is extremely easy to remove and it keeps everything clean. So although that looks really nice, that is not the easiest to clean if your cup spills. This can just go inside, rinse it, and put it back in, and it's all good. It is from Abstract Ocean. It's $19.99. Check it out. Again, it's our favorite one. The next item on our list is the charging cable holder. This is crucial. This cord is rather long. It goes all the way from your charging point out to your car. So we found it was extremely important to have somewhere to keep this cord off the ground because of our, don't mind our mess, lovely garage. So it's very easy. You loop it as many times as you need to and then take your plug and everything is in one spot. Super easy, organized. If this charging cable organizer is from Top Fit, check it out, $17.99 and a must have for organizing those cables. Next up on the list is charging adapter locks. These things are super important if you ever plan on using a non-Tesla charger when you're out on the go. These are just simple little locks that go over your charging adapter that you use when you go to plug in at a third party charging service. Now without these things, this adapter will still plug in and it'll go into your car, but the problem that you have is anybody can come along and disconnect you at that point. These charging locks prevent that from happening. When you put them on the adapter like this, that top right there will keep the little lock from the third party charger engaged with this, which means it can now no longer be disengaged until you unlock your car. This will prevent people from pulling up next to you if all the other bays are full and just disconnecting you from your charge and plugging right in, leaving you high and dry. So these things are super easy. They're super cheap too. You can get a set of these. They're like 15 bucks for two of them. They come in two different sizes. As you can see here, those lips are available in two different sizes because it depends on the different types of charger. So you could just try whichever one works best to get a good lock to make sure that you stay fully charged and nobody's messing with you. Last but not least is one that is really just cosmetic benefit. For as much as we love the interior of the Tesla and the way it looks and the minimalistic appearance of it and everything else, we don't know what they were thinking when they designed the dash. The original dash that's on here uh, is a wood grain color. It just kind of seems out of place. You have all of this gorgeous black around here. You have this Alcatara here. This is black. If you don't have the white interior and you have the black interior, interior that panel that's wood and it just it just doesn't look right it doesn't fit in with the amazing black sleek interior so we opted to upgrade it and get a dash cap now the one that we put on here is a carbon fiber it is not real carbon fiber it's just a carbon fiber appearance it's available from top fit it's very affordable at 59.99 it's a super easy install now they do make vinyl wraps for these dash caps as well that said those vinyl wraps are extremely difficult to install Stall. It's a large piece of vinyl and the larger the piece of vinyl the harder it is to get a nice smooth attachment on there with no bubbles. That's why this one we have to go this route. The cap is just ABS plastic that has a carbon fiber appearance. It has 3M double sided tape on the inside that literally you just peel off and slaps right on there and it looks amazing. We have had this on our dash pretty much since day one of having our car and it still looks amazing and it hasn't faded one bit. It doesn't lift anywhere. It just looks 
absolutely perfect. Link to this one down in the description below. Thanks to our friends at TopFit, we have a giveaway package for a few of you. This giveaway package includes several different things. The first is a cable organizer for that new Tesla that you're about to buy or that you just bought. We have a cup holder, LED footwell lights for when you open that door, and the last thing is an adapter lock so whenever you are at a charging station that is not a Tesla charging station, we have you covered. So to enter to win one of the accessory giveaway pack, guys, it's really simple. All you gotta do is First, you gotta make sure to like the video. Second, you gotta make sure to be a subscriber to the channel. So hit that subscribe button while you're down there liking the video. Next, make sure to follow us on our socials. They're right down there as well. The important one is follow us on Instagram because that's where we're gonna announce the winner on Saturday, July 31st. All you have to do to enter is like, subscribe, and comment down below, Lock It Tech. Simple as that. She thought I was gonna say Michelle. We, we joked about that beforehand. Nope, all you gotta do is comment down below Lock It Tech and you are entered. Make sure to be a subscriber, make sure to like the video. And like I said, on Saturday, July 31st, check our Instagram page. We will announce the winners live there. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait one second. Make sure to smash that like button. And while you're doing that, subscribe if you're new so that way you also have a chance in that giveaway. And all of our giveaways, you gotta be a subscriber anyway. And if you are in the market to buy your own Tesla, make sure to use a referral code, guys. Get that 1,000 free supercharger miles. It's awesome, it goes a long way, it helps on a road trip. Make sure to reach out to a family member or a friend, somebody you know who has a Tesla, ask them for theirs. If you don't know anybody that has one, yeah, you can use ours. It's down in the description below. You're more than welcome to. If you did use ours, make sure to send us a picture so we can give you a proper shout out. This guy did. Congratulations on your amazing Tesla. That thing looks absolutely fantastic. We hope you enjoy it. It's awesome. It's awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. As always, make sure to tune in next Saturday at 10 a.m. for our next video. And check out on July 31st, Instagram. That's right. Watch us for that live. We will actually be in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. That's when we're going to be down there on our trip. So we'll make a whole big thing about picking the winners. Maybe we'll have a couple of the kids or something announce it. I don't know. Thanks, as always, for watching, guys. We'll see you next week, Saturday at 10 a.m. See you later. Look at it, Jack. This is gonna be a long video. It's so high. <laughs> I know. Hit it, Jill. <sighs> got it, you got it, Jack. All right, the next item, it, I shouldn't say all right. Our charging holder, our char, the next one. <laughs> Don't put these bloopers in. I got an idea. <laughs> Not funny. The next item on our list. The next item? Shut up. <laughs> Woo! Feisty! You said a fourth thing. Wait a minute. It's in my glove box. It's in my glove box for when I need to charge. I don't know the technical names. I know what I need. So to enter or to win one of the accessory pack giveaways. Oh, that's awesome.